Hi guys, welcome to another episode and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my journey so far as a full-time data science student in Moringa. So I signed up exactly four months ago. Is it four or five months ago? Yeah, so I signed up for the Moringa School full-time data science program and here has been my experience so far. So currently, I can say that my experience has been wholesome, amazing, but then I have to be honest with you guys about the very, very first month where I was like, hey, this is not what I thought I was signing up for. And here are the reasons why. First of all, I didn't quite understand the meaning of a boot camp, okay? Because where else will you learn about boot camps in Kenya? There are no boot camps in Kenya, as in not many boot camps in Kenya. So I have, I was so used to 844 system, and then here I was just transitioning drastically to a boot camp system, which was quite hard for me. So the very first thing that you need to understand about data science boot camps, not only in Moringa but any other. So we have data, we have Moringa School Bootcamp here in Kenya. We also have ALX Bootcamp. So what you need to understand is that the mode of learning is very, very different. So this is not gonna be like the university for your program. It's literally six months of you having to cover content. So it's going to be intense. And, and when I say intense, I mean it, it's intense. So the first thing I wish I understood before joining this bootcamp was that, was the intensity of the bootcamp. I don't think I was quite ready for it. So the very first two months of my journey were hard. Guys, they were, it was difficult and I honestly felt like giving up. The second thing that I wish I knew about this bootcamp before signing up was that I needed to have at least some basic background in Python. So if you understand about data science, you'll know that you have to have some basic background in programming. Programming is very essential and especially Python. So if I knew about this bootcamp, I could have started like doing my own research work or just my own practice in Python. It could have saved me a handful because once you, I'm going to start talking about the content later on in the video, but once you start, they already like kind of assume that you're supposed to be having like basic skills in Python because una Rushua to content, yacht at once, and it's very, very heavy. The content was so heavy for me. I had no background whatsoever in Python completely. And I honestly had to learn and grasp the entire syllabus of Python in like a week or less. So if you're watching this, I would highly advise you to start teaching yourself how to code with Python. It's going to save you a handful. The other thing that I wish I was prepared for was just the timing. Okay, so in Moringa, the, the boot camp for the full-time students is six months. And... I honestly thought it's going to be a short course. <laughs> Imagine, I thought it's going to be a short course, but this is literally the entire, the entire content or the entire syllabus of, the, of data science being packaged within six months. So again, it's a boot camp, so it's gonna be short, obviously. It's not gonna be like four years, like university. So the six months, <laughs> at the back of my mind, I was getting in knowing it's just a short course, but it's literally like a whole degree. You are learning a whole degree within six months. So that's something that you should look into. The timing, you have to be very, very, very present for the data science bootcamp. If you're signing up for the full-time classes, hey, you have to forego a lot of things. I honestly had to stop doing a lot of things that I used to do. I was acting i was modeling you know i was doing a lot of things on the side but once i joined data science i honestly couldn't multitask so honest advice for somebody who has been in the bootcamp for four months so far it's very very good and advisable for you to schedule your time properly otherwise you're you're going to cry in this bootcamp the other thing definitely is some basic knowledge in uh, statistics. So 
let me just start off with what the content was all about. So once you join the bootcamp, the very first week is all about introduction. They are going to introduce you to Moringa School and it's going to be nice, yeah. The very first two days, two days were just introduction and being welcome. It was so nice by the way. And then the, that day was now the content and that's when now you're introduced to everything in Python. Oh my goodness, it was like, what are these things? Yes, they are going to, you're assigned technical mentors, yeah, for the class. So you have got technical mentors that you can reach out to. But then, the, okay, the technical mentors honestly just cover up, like, let's say that that 5% of the content, the rest 65% is totally going to be you. So this is, I will say, I will honestly say that the bootcamp is student-led, it's student-based. So if you are the kind of a person that likes to study on their own, this bootcamp is for you. If you're the kind of a person who mostly relies on like the lecturers to come and teach you, it's, it, it might be a bit difficult for you because this is mostly gonna be your own work. Otherwise, you're gonna have a very hard time. So phase zero is all about Python. You have to understand everything in Python in phase zero. And then now phase one, they introduce you to the libraries, now Python for data, for data science. So for people who have had like background in computer science, in IT or any other comp related course, phase zero and phase one is just a walk in the park for them. For people like me who had no background whatsoever, it was the hardest phase for me. And then, so I've said phase zero, Python, phase one, the libraries for data science, and then phase two, now you get introduced to statistics. So this is where people who've done economic statistics were shining. People who have done MADS were shining because it was all MADS, MADS, MADS. I unfortunately had to find calculus again I was not, I've never been a fan of calculus by the way, but then I just found it and I was like, oh my goodness. So phase two is stats. Phase three, now that's when I picked up in phase three. Because phase three now is introduction, introduction to machine learning. So that has been my best phase so far. Actually from phase three, it's when I began to understand. Machine learning is very interesting by the way. Uh, even if you are like going to do a ML just without the background, it's still going to be interesting for you. So did um, ML now from phase three, and then now I'm currently in phase four. I'm in the first week of phase four. Phase four is advanced machine learning, where we learn about deep learning and neural networks, so, and also artificial intelligence. So it has been, since phase three, that's when like I picked up. Otherwise, phase two, phase one, phase zero, they were not very, very kind on me, but then, if I had followed those things, I think I could have had a very easy transition into Moringa School. So that's my honest advice for you guys. If you guys want a recap, let me just recap very, very fast. If you want to join Moringa School, okay, I would advise you to start learning about Python. Have some basic knowledge on statistics. Understand that this is a bootcamp that's going to last six months. So if you're joining the full-time class, please, you have to schedule off some of the things that you are doing. Just forgo them, concentrate for these six months, and you're going to have the time of your life. I'm definitely going to be making more videos like this to document my journey, and I hope that this video is going to help someone because I wish somebody made this video before I joined. Otherwise, that's it for today, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye!